Hello guys and welcome to this basic tutorial on how to get resources in War and Order. In War and Order you have six types of main resources. It's food, wood, stone, iron, azurite and gems. Gems is only type of resources which you cannot gather from your city map because you don't have relevant building for it but you can gather them from completing certain quests on the realm map and through buying them which we will cover later now for rest types of resources you will see their buildings here i place them here so you have food building you have food building you have stone building and you have iron building. What you need to do is actually collect resources from these buildings occasionally because when these buildings are full, they won't give you resources anymore. So you don't want to keep them full for long. And you just click on them to gather resources or just swipe like this. And on the upper portion of the screen, you can see that I have 2.1 million food, 2.5 million wood, and so forth regarding so stone and iron. And how you actually build those buildings is by clicking on empty space, building space on your city map, like this one, and just find a relevant resources building and click build on a uh, down right portion of the screen since i have all my resources buildings built i want i didn't have them show, uh, shown on my list i opened previously but if you didn't build them you will have them until you deplete in number of these buildings and now let's move to realm map. On this map, I will explain to you three ways to get resources. First, you will look for these small buildings, like this one, this one, that one. And these are small resources buildings, that one. Their level range from 1 through 5. The higher the level, the more resources will you be able to get. Which is somewhat logical, right? So yes, if you look on this farm building, third level farm building, it's level, it's level 3, right? Yes. So you will be able to get 180,000 wood, uh, food, and how you actually do that, you click on that building, you click gather, and then you click set out. Notice that I won't be able to get all of these buildings because I don't have enough troops uh, for that. I already sent some, some of my troops together from a different source, so I don't have enough troops to get all that's offered on this building. But if you have, you will get just that. Let's find some other building. You have level 3 stone building, which gives you 36 thousand stones. Level 4 gems building gives you that much of gems and so forth and so forth another way to get resources on realm map is from alliance elite resources buildings so of course first you must be in one alliance and then you click on alliance icon then alliance buildings section then Alliance Elite Mines section. And here I have 
a list of available elite resources buildings of my lands. They also differ in level. So the higher the level, the more resources will you be able to get. Notice these green numbers on each Alliance Elite Building card. Uh, it shows that five players can occupy one Elite Building. So let's click on first one because it's empty. I will click Gather and I will set out my remaining troops to that location and as you can see my troops are moving from my city to that location now notice that I won't be able to get all 1 million and 800 thousand food because I don't have enough troops also if I had enough troops and another player comes I will gather less if he has enough troops to gather all of all of these resources so actually we would split in two but if there are more players you will get even less so that about covers that section of elite farming now uh, notice that small buildings when you gather from them they will disappear from the map after they're depleted but those big alliance buildings resources buildings will not deplete will not disappear but they will recover resources in few hours so you will be able to gather from them again lastly i will explain to you the way to get resources by attacking some player let's just find some player castle on my realm map I'm having some difficulties fighting players, guys. What is this? <laughs> oh, come on. Give me one player castle. There you go. So, I would click on that player, click attack and because I have two portion of armies also, uh, already gathering I won't be able to, to do it before it's finished but actually when you click on attack you will be able to extract resources from this player if you win the battle now what determines how much will you able to extract from this player is his depot level let's click on depot building details so as you can see since I'm level 13 this is how much I'm able to protect from extracting if someone destroys my castle if someone wins the battle attacking my castle so this is how much food, wood, stone and iron will I be able to get. So that about concludes this. One more thing is how you can buy resources in War and Order. On upper right portion of the screen you can see diamond icon and it shows 90. I have 90 diamonds. Uh, 90 gems to be precise so you actually want to click there and here you have different packs in offering to get various resources so choose them wisely they differ 
in amount of resources they give you. Higher the level, the more source, resources you will be able to get. And so forth and so forth. And that about concludes this quick tutorial on resources, guys. Take care.